I like to poke the bear. I poke the bear. That's what I do. Poke the bear, girl. Poke the bear. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. I know it's been a few days. I'm still in Texas and I will be heading back to Alabama tomorrow. And since I have been here in Texas, the internet has not been kind to me at all. Recently, I have been uploading longer videos and I have one that is just over an hour long. So I will be uploading that one when I get back home. Also, I am aware of what is going on in the world. I choose not to talk about it on social media. It is devastating, more plaguing and so triggering. I do spend majority of my days praying about it. I saw a post that without a crystal ball made this morning, again in reference to her son, that she continues to use for attention for herself. And also, I was tagged because, again, Teddy Joy is using people's content from behind a paywall and she thinks she is smarter than everyone else. But all she is doing is being manipulative, vindictive, so let's talk about it but before that my usual disclaimer please do not take what i say as fact feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion a few days ago she made a post about her son turning 11 before i go into that she, she used a picture of him when he was much younger he has grown so much since then and has overcome major hurdles and he truly has defied the odds and for her to use that picture to gain sympathy from strangers on social media is absolutely disgusting on her part. It speaks to how manipulative she truly is. If you would like to see what she did post, you can see I got the screenshot from Balls 2.0 on Instagram. You can go check it out there if you don't have Instagram. Go check out Ramagal on Twitter. Seven years ago today, 9.08 p.m., you came into this world. Happy birthday, my sweet boy. 26 hours of labor and pains was worth every minute because it brought you to your dad and me. This morning, she posted, I bought my son my favorite shoes ever and cried when they arrived. Adidas Grand Court and Adidas Superstar have been my favorite shoes since high school. I don't care if they are out of style, I will always have a pair. Also, I bought my son his first pair and cried when I opened the box. So weird. Turns out he loves them. Let me start off with this. Kaylee Joy bitched about how people on the internet harassed and tormented her son and did some vile, horrendous stuff with his image. And here she is posting a pic of him as a baby when clearly he had stuff going on. That is foul. And the only reason she did that, in my opinion, was to gain sympathy and favor from strangers on the internet. Secondly, why is she always trying to steal his thunder? Her first post was clearly to give him love on his birthday, yet she couldn't help herself and she had to insert herself. It's all about him, his 11th birthday, not you. You have a way of just sucking the air out of the room. And the whole sneaker situation, to me it seems as though he didn't even have a choice. If it is true the way you state unfolded, I bet he was just trying to be kind and didn't want to hurt your feelings, Katie Joy, because he seems like a very compassionate young man. Stop putting your son in harm's way. Stop using him, Katie Joy, for your own selfish gain. Period. How hard is that to do? Now, instead of posting about his birthday, he should be celebrating this with close family, friends, grandparents. Katie Joy is the idiot that chose to selfishly cut those who would be the most important people as I said, his grandparents, I cut them out of his life too. Over the years, Katie Joy has been going live on her platform and showed how his grandparents loved him, showed him love. She chose to cut them off, citing that they were toxic. Katie Joy, you, in my opinion, could not handle the truth that they were telling you or trying to get through to you. Like everyone else that refuses to take your bullshit. You did to them what you do to everyone else, in my opinion, that you cannot get one over on. You accuse your own parents of the most horrible stuff because not long ago, you were singing their praises. During the pandemic, you made a post how you took time off and spent it with your mom and dad. Also, how can anybody forget this? People don't always get me, but my parents never let that stop me. They believed in me. Absolutely, no one in my life has been a bigger cheerleader and constant support than my parents. Getting to know their history helped me understand why they are so freaking awesome. My dad got his amazing heart compassion from his mother and grandmother. My mom 
got her wonderful empathy and heart to serve from her parents. Her dad pushed her to get a college education. My dad worked hard. He served on the school board until I graduated so that he could hand me my diploma. My parents are active in the community, constantly volunteer and have instilled a core value in me to always give back and to never take anything for granted. I know that they are a product of their parents and grandparents. Strive to serve, help, advocate and speak out for the injustice in my blood. My family history is filled with pastors, <laughs> volunteers and people that use their time here to make a difference. I will never care about the amount of money in my bank account, really, the car I drive or the home I own. What matters to me is helping others. Bullshit. I thank my parents and ancestors for that. And as you can see, this was done like it's going on next month will be two years ago. So now all of a sudden, the parents are the toxic ones. You are a horrible human being, Katie Joy, in my opinion. And please hold your comments towards me for those that are going to say, oh, but how dare you say that? She's not a horrible person. Hold those comments until you watch my upcoming video where I show you how Katie Joy does the most horrible stuff and accuses people of the worst things just because she cannot handle when she's wrong. Moving on to this post that she made and once again all credit goes to both 2.0 for the screenshot. She decided to post this gentleman's content from TikTok and as you can see nowhere does she credit him. And she goes off after people who do not give her credit and she will even let them know the correct way to credit her. She finds no problem in stealing other people's content. Let me remind you about this little snippet of an Instagram live that she did where she was threatening people if they posted her content. As always, if you upload this to YouTube, I will strike you, so don't do it. The rules for thee, but not for me. I'll leave a link to this gentleman's TikTok in my description. He is absolutely amazing and has amazing content. He also has been posting content from McKelty and Gwendolyn Brown's Patreon that is behind a paywall. And she finds no issues with what she is doing because she takes from what's behind their paywall and use it on a YouTube videos and then when she's questioned about it she says she found it on TikTok. Bullshit. Now with Katie Joy she has studied and mastered YouTube terms of service and that is how she is getting away with using people's content from behind a paywall. She uses the right amount of time that stays within fair use. It is morally wrong what she is doing, but she doesn't care because people are watching her, watching her content. And as far as I can tell, people who dislike the Browns or the Duggars, they are getting confirmation for why they dislike these people from Katie Joy's content. And in turn, Katie Joy is making a lot of money off of giving these people confirmation by continuing to disparage these people like Sister Wives and the Duggars. And as we have seen before, Katie Joy allows people to put these people in harm's way. Remember how she deleted the comments of one of her followers on Facebook that actually admitted to calling CPS Lydia Bates. Moving forward, she doesn't care about anybody's well-being in regard to the Duggars or Sister Wives or anybody else. She only cares about her own bank account. That's all. That's what I see it. And also, she posted about Cody Bowles in a Rolex. Don't like the guy, but good for him. He has to be the one to live with his own conscience as to how, when, and who suffered for him to be sporting such an expensive piece. I remember when she went after Robert Shin and the whole Bentley situation and how she bragged about how she can afford two Bentleys, but ended up with a BMW. <laughs> Maybe she wants to buy Todd a Rolex. I would commend her if she does that since seeing he is the one that's raising and taking care of their son. That would be an awesome gift for Todd, but that would just be wishful thinking on my part. I've observation observational reporting about Katie Joy for a few years now. She, in my opinion, is a toxic person. She is selfish as fuck. And she is trying so hard to be accepted when at this point of your life, the only acceptance that should be relevant is from those within her home, her son and her husband. Ron deserves privacy. He deserves to be cherished, protected, and most importantly, loved. In regard to Gwendolyn Brown and Kate Joy using her content from behind a paywall, I'm not sure 
anything can be done because as I said she uses just enough time to stick within fair use but Gwendolyn did say reporter and as for McCalty, I did reach out to her but I have received no response that's it for now have a wonderful weekend thanks to know what you guys think about this please be safe out there be kind to one another and don't forget make good memories bye guys